Hey guys, Monsters here, and today I've decided to make a Citadel guide for all of you out there. Alright, so first thing to kick off things, um, Citadel is pretty much a clan world where you can skill, um, get resources, uh, sorry, gather resources and produce into bars, charcoal, timber, and all that stuff. So, I'm going to start off with how to get there. How to get to your clan citadel is using your clan vexel. So all you have to do is wield your clan vexel, right click, and then place, uh, sorry, click teleport. Then you're going to get this little box here asking, do you want to teleport to the clan camp? And you click yes. Alright, so this right here is how to get to your clan citadel. Yep, and your clan citadel is a world specified for your clan, so no matter on what world you are on, you'll when you go to citadel you'll always be with all your clan mates. Alright, now first thing, how to use your citadel map. Alright, you have your map here. Each plot has a, a T with a purple coloring on it. If it's your citadel you'll be able to teleport around like this simply by clicking on the T or the skill plot. If it's not your citadel unfortunately you'd have to run around to each plot to hang out with a friend or just chat. Alright now for the interface build in 3 days 12 hours 7 minutes this pretty much says when the weekly citadel update will happen so in 3 days 12 hours and 7 minutes my citadel will update to next weeks all right and another important one is this right here this shows all your resources and all the pins which are these shows the goals that have been set by your leader Now, quick, uh, I guess, tutorial about your skill plots interfaces, or what would you like to call them? Plot information to the side of your interface, yeah, I guess. Alright, so, each plot has its own, I guess, uh, tab. Each tab shows the goal, which is this. For the, in my case it's 5k timber this is how much the entire clan has done in total and player total is how much you've done individually and by your leader they could set whichever plot they want as the temporary uh, sorry primary goal all right so you have mining plot stone player total clan total they all run under the same idea so 6k is the goal that your whole clan is going for alright next up is how to well how to make bars charcoal simply how to use your plots alright so first thing I'm gonna start at the charcoal in the charcoal area you don't you do not need timber to produce charcoal so you simply click on one of the four boxes around here and it will throw in charcoal. Now the level, uh, sorry, the experience that you'll gain is based upon your level and is not based upon the tier of your citadel. Just an important, important reminder. All right now charcoal um, helps, to, helps you to make bars and bars are there's two types of them, there's precious bars and there's normal uh, regular bars. Now to make bars you need ores, so for regular bars you're going to need regular ores and charcoal. For precious bars you're going to need precious ores and charcoal of course. And next up we're going to try, see this is the mining area. In the mining section you have your precious ores, so two of them. You have your stone, there's four stone cross, and your regular ores. Next one, uh, wood cutting. Wood cutting is a little bit different than the 
casual runescape um, style woodcutting. You do not cut the tree down, yet you cut its roots down. There's six roots around the tree that you'll be cutting down. Next up. Okay, so those are usually your basic four skill plots to start with. Once you get to tier 5, you'll receive a crafting plot and a summoning plot. This does mean free summoning experience. So you click on the obelisk that is glowing, or you can simply, if you can't see it, you can point on all four. And see, like for example, it changed now, so I'm going to look for that one. And yeah, just click on it and then free summoning experience. Next one up is crafting. For the crafting one, you will weave. This is probably one of the best crafting experiences in game, as you can see. 143 experience at 70 crafting. Alright, next up is bank inside your citadel. So your bank is located uh, in the keep so teleport to the keep get around so in, once you get in you have a head guard which is your bank pretty much and a quartermaster this guy is where you get your bonus experience ring and I'll get into the bonus experience experience rings in a bit alright so headmaster headmaster head guard works the exact same way as any bank works uh, you can collect anything from GE like uh, Grand Exchange alright now for the quartermaster once you've done about 170 resource cap each week you will be able to receive a bonus experience ring now once you've received the message in game uh, telling you that you can claim one you can come here right click claim ring I've already got mine and I've used it on smithing alright so once you get your bonus experience ring it will be an uncharged ring and to charge your ring is simply to go to the plot that you want the bonus experience in for example I went to the smithing one just simply got on the plot right click and charged my ring and then based upon your level it will tell you how much bonus experience you can get and the formula of getting experience with your ring is 1.5 times the normal experience you'll get and it lasts again variable upon your level you can always check charge so mine started with 25k smithing experience now I'm left at 7 also an update to those who have watched my previous videos I am now 98 smithing and I'm hoping for 99 either tomorrow or two days from now alright one of the last few things if you do have a battlefield in your citadel you can get two types of uh, level boosts so initiate battle Click confirm. You don't. We really. Yeah, sorry. You really don't need anything. All right. Now, once you've got into here, you can simply step on the green one. I remember it being. Yep. Yeah, so the green one gives you seven, a ten plus summoning, and the blue one, I believe, gives you the agility bon um, bonus. So one second, let me try it out here. Yeah, there we go. So this one is summoning, this one is agility. And it'll give you a 10 bonus, which means you can use your effigies inside here. And it's totally fine to use. Once you're done, you can leave. So quit. Oops, sorry. Yep, so quit. And then you've opened up a summoning or an agility effigy. Now to visit a friend of yours' citadel. So if your friend is another clan and you want to visit their citadel, I'll show you how to do that. Now the portal has two options teleport to surface, and it shows you leave citadel with options yes, no. 
you can right click and click quick teleport and it will take take you back to the world that you were in before you got into the citadel now to join a friend citadel you click teleport portal view another clan citadel and you're gonna type in the clan name so whatever that clan may be for example noobs or something like that you're gonna click enter and then it's gonna search it and it will send you to that citadel alright so that's about all for the citadel um, just a side note citadel can save you over a million GP per week of skilling costs so you should really give it a thought and it helps your clan a lot Anyways, take care guys, and I'll be seeing you soon.